Hey everybody, welcome to the video on this beautiful, marvellous day of life that we have been given or gifted or chose to have and are part of. So, most people are really sloppy with their thoughts, their, their mind, which includes visualisation or imagination of the future. And one of the biggest mistakes we make is imagining or feeling or believing, thinking that something is wrong. It's like just general stuff. It's wrong or bad or shouldn't be happening. That, those three are devastating to our emotional well-being. It's like there's an accident and I say, oh, that shouldn't have happened. So I'm going against the higher powers and God or source or all that is to say, that's wrong, I'm right, I know the way things should be. <laughs> and if anything happens that I don't like, then I say that, it's, that I declare to the universe that sh shouldn't be that way. So this feeling is so contracted, squeezing you. So, uh, I just want to bless the drivers and say happy day to them and may they be happy and well and free from stress and hurt and I send them love because it's a bit noisy in the video and I know that so sorry about that. I hope you can excuse it. So, what else? Yeah, sloppy thinking and sloppy eating habits. They're the two, like, sloppy mind and sloppy mouth. They're the two things that, like, F people up. <laughs> Fuck us up, man. Yeah. So, most people, like right now, I'm very joyful because I've been eating loads of fruits lately. And that's good for us. But most of us just put anything in our mouth. Anything, anything, and everything. And we're so dirty. We're so full of toxins and waste, pollutants, and gluey stuff. It's just not good. It's irritating us emotionally and physically, of course, and mentally. So if you could clean up your body, and your, 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 your mouth and stomach and the, what you put there. So if you could clean up your, your body and what you put in your mouth and your stomach, your mind and emotions would be so much happier. And if you could clean up your thoughts instead of thinking the worst. And I encourage you not to have a defeatist attitude, not a pessimistic negative attitude and outlook or and energy, but have a, have, a, have a positive, feel good, determined, unstoppable, undefeated attitude. So when you're faced with a challenge, and it's always stuff that, the stuff that makes us feel bad in life is the stuff that we don't want. So we're happy when we get what we want, but then we get annoyed and sad and angry when we, things happen that we don't like. So if you could actually face these things you don't like with a powerful, powerful attitude and mental, it's all mental, remember? Mental fortitude, strength, determination, optimism, opportunistic attitude, then obviously you'd be so much more empowered and you'll you'll go by your challenges so much better instead of like being lazing around the place mentally or physically being cranky and just negative plain old negativity and you could talk forever about spiritual teachings forever and psychology and I know that's fun and I like it as well but if you do that, you can go to the extreme of losing yourself in stuff that's not really, 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 really important. And you forget and lose track of the importance of what I'm saying in this video. Those two things, the mentalism, the mind, the powerhouse of what you have. It's your greatest instrument or greatest enemy. Obviously, it's not really like literally your enemy or it's not literally, it's like, it's your best tool. You can hit, construct stuff with it or destroy stuff. Hallelujah. Just climbing over a wall one handed with a big heavy bag in my back, going through the church. <laughs> oh, that's taking off my hat. 